Uh, Steve Hill with AIQ Systems here. Uh, did an intraday update about 45 minutes ago. It's September the 19th, so we have some intraday snapshot data appended to the end of day charts for the entire S&P 500 stocks and also run the uh, in-depth report analysis on intraday snapshot on the groups and also ran the intraday snapshot through our expert design studio where you can design and build your own trading system or use some of our built-in ones. So let's take a look here. You're looking at the diamonds and the spider just to give an idea of where the market is. So 9.19 today and there's the snapshot value. You can see both the diamonds and the spiders are right near their all-time highs again. Zooming in the charts, you can see the pattern quite clearly there. So we'll go take a quick look at the S&P 500 groups while we're out here, just to see what is going on. We'll go down into my S&P 500 list itself. Right, we're having a look at uh, some of the S&P 500 sectors to see what's going on here. Right, zooming in on the S&P 500 sectors, communication services also reaching a top right there. Uh, looking again, this is the uh, consumer discretionary, and you can see consumer staples is moving out from a high. And the S&P energy sector, all of these sectors are updated now through the 19th with the intraday snapshot data. Now you can perform snapshots six or seven times during the day and get uh, updated data as we're going on. I like to do this an hour before the market shuts to give me enough time to do some uh, in-depth intraday analysis. And then at the end of the day, that data is overwritten by the full closing pricing. So here again, this is sectors on the S&P 500 we're looking at with data through 9.19. Going to have a quick look at the reports themselves. I have the price gap report already open here. These are the five stocks that gapped up today already. Uh, you can obviously go look at those in charts to see if there's an opportunity there. Uh, gap downs, there's one chart in gap down, that's a DRI. Uh, new highs and new lows, I like to see what's getting a new high and new low in the middle of the day, of course. So here are all the stocks getting new highs in the last five days, which includes some from today as well. And on the new low side, very few. So quite often the sign of a market that's uh, been up for a while, we get a lot of new highs with uh, very few in the way of new lows. Uh, volume change report, I don't uh, suggest you use that intraday because it looks at volume change uh, on the 21-day average over the last three days. And obviously, the volume we've just got in today is only the, last, uh, is only the first two hours of volume in the morning. Uh, volume spike, this is kind of good because if you've got a volume spike uh, in the first two hours like this, DRI, which was a, a stock that's strongly down, there may be a trading opportunity right there. Group reports, again, we'll go into the group analysis, want to see what's going on here. 9.19, as I said, right now, the group score is 83% up, 17% down. So 83% of groups are in a trend up versus 17 down. Notice here there is a 75% uh, transition towards the downside, meaning that since yesterday, 75% uh, of the groups have started to move down. Right, going in to look at uh, some of the trading strategies, got a couple of hundred trading strategies built in, or you can build your own with our wizard. So we can look at some of the price-based indicator strategies uh, in intraday as well. So here's Bollinger Bands tightened with low volatility, and this is taking place 9.19 this morning. And this report shows me stocks uh, that have a lower volatility, the bands tighten. What usually happens is after that period, the price action will break out through the upper band or the lower band, and that's the indication of a new move up or a new move down. So just to give you an idea, um, these are the S&P 500 stocks, the same in the reports we're just generating on the S&P 500. And so these are the stocks that are displaying that squeeze at the moment. Yeah, I can take these and build myself a quick list into charts. So we'll call it BB squeeze, and this is 9.19. And you'll see the stocks that uh, have Bollinger Band squeeze are now showing in the charts uh, with volatility falling off. There's the squeeze breakout through the bands will be a sign of a new move up or down. And again, we can scroll through these stocks just using the arrows here. I can look and see what's going on in any of those stocks and tag them for a later analysis. And again, I can download this a little bit later in the day to see if anything has changed. So 
So that's it for this update. I uh, hope you enjoyed us. Uh, we'll do another one on market expert rating signals uh, later on this week.